Good day folks, my name is Sean and this is Air Photography. Today we're going to take a look at a new firmware update for the EVO 2 series. This firmware update is version 2.7.25 and actually adds quite a few new interesting features. I took the drone out yesterday for a nice Sunday afternoon flight to test out some of these new features and uh, we're going to take a look at that here in a minute. But let's go over the release notes and we'll take a look at what all has been added. We can now create landscape, portrait and wide angle panoramas. Those ones have photo stitching capability built in. We can also do a sphere panorama, but with that you have to edit it in post. Now some of these updates don't apply to myself, just because I don't have that appropriate drone. Uh, but the next interesting one here is that it's now added a customizable home point, and uh, we will be taking a look at that. We can customize the A, B button to change into ludicrous mode instead of having to go in through the settings. Now they've added a couple other features that weren't listed in the release notes, and one of them is called pre-recorded video. And that works similar to how GoPro introduced last year with the Hero 9, where even though you're not recording, the camera's still recording in the background, so when you do hit record, it will capture that video up to 30 seconds before you hit the record button. So that's an interesting feature and we'll take a look at that and how to enable it. Another thing that they did add was HD photo syncing right to the Autel app. So let's take a look at some of these new features and how they work. So one of the new features they've added in this latest firmware update is the ability to set a custom home point. So let's take a look at that now here. If we go to the settings at the top right hand corner, we go to general. You can see at the very top there it says home point. And you can set the home point as me, where the controller is, or where the aircraft currently is. But they now have this new one called Customize. So if we click on that, you can see it's going to bring up a map, and we can adjust the home point. So right now is where it's currently set at. But we can drag the map around, and uh, you can see where the drone is there. Let's set the home point over here, out in the middle of the field. And then we can put Add Custom Home Point. So you can see there how it's now adjusted it. And we even have some fine-tuned controls there. You can see I can use those little arrows to fine-tune it if I need. And yeah, so that's a nice new feature. You can now set a custom home point. Another new feature that they've added is a new Panorama Intelligent Flight Mode. So let's go to Flight Modes. You can see there at the top we have Panorama. And we have a couple different ones we can take. We can do Landscape, Portrait, Wide Angle, and Spherical. Now it's important to note when taking a spherical, it's just going to take a series of images. It's not going to process them into a spherical image for you. Unfortunately, that is something you do have to do in post by yourself. But the other ones, the Landscape, Portrait, and Wide Angle, are all processed right on the drone. So we can, uh, you know, you can get a view of them right away without having to do any kind of editing yourself. So let's uh, test them out here. Uh, let's start with landscape. And I'm just going to take a picture of the farm here. Nothing uh, spectacular, but it's what we have to work with right now. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll hit go. We've got it on landscape. So it's going to go ahead and take the series of images. You can see there it's going to do 12. Now you can see there, it's now processing the panoramic photo. And as you can see, we get a message that the image transmission will temporarily stop working. So that's kind of important to know, make sure you're in a safe area because the drone's gonna be hovering there and you really don't have uh, any way of seeing what's around you. So we'll just go ahead and let it do its thing. Now it says stitched successful. Let's go into the gallery there and we'll take a look at it. And there we go there. So yeah, let's go back. And we can also do portrait, wide angle, and spherical as mentioned. Now the next thing they've added to the firmware update is you can customize your A or B button on the bottom, the two buttons there on the bottom. You can now set ludicrous mode to one of those buttons. So we're gonna go ahead and set it to our A button. And to do so, we're going to go into our settings and we're gonna to go to remote controller. And then we're gonna select remote controller customizable buttons. And we will select number A. Right now, both of them are undefined. So we're going to go down to Sport Mode, Ludicrous Mode. And there we go. And that's as simple as that. So now when I press and hold the A button, you can see there it's now switched over to Ludicrous Speed. So you can go and do your flight. And if you want, you can go back into Regular Mode. Regular Speed, I should say. And it will depend on what you have it set in the settings. Like for example, right now, if we go to Ludicrous, 
we can select the 72 kilometers an hour. So when we switch back and forth, right now we're in standard speed, but if I go back to Ludacrist and we check the settings, you can see it's still at that higher 72 kilometers per hour. So it will remember what ludicrous speed you have in the settings, and that's what it will switch back and forth to. So definitely a welcome addition because, you know, it's kind of a pain to have to go into your settings to adjust your speed. Now, another interesting thing they've done here is they've added something called video pre-recording. Now, this is something that we seen GoPro add last year with the Hero 9 Black, and uh, it's kind of a handy feature. I haven't used it a lot, but I can definitely see it coming in handy. And basically what it does is it buffers video. So for example, you send the drone up, you're not recording, but then uh, you hit the record button. It's gonna start recording from 30 seconds, 40 seconds in the past because it's always got that buffer recording. And you can set that up quite easily by going into your camera settings. And you can see we have that option there now called pre-record video. So we can turn it on and technically right now the camera is recording even though we haven't hit the record button but if we hit record it will start recording from that buffer it has in its memory so definitely another interesting feature and another thing that they've added with these firmware updates and the app update um, they've now added geo zones and a lot of people are a little bit upset about that because that's one reason one thing they liked about the autel evo drone is that it didn't have all those geofencing uh, things that kind of limited to where you could fly now, it is a little bit different than the way DJI does it. It doesn't actually prevent you from taking off. It's just going to give you a warning that you're in a no-fly zone or a place you shouldn't be flying or there's some kind of restrictions. But you can still take off with your drone at your own discretion. Now, it's also not for every country. For example, I do believe it's not uh, been implemented in Canada yet. It's only for countries that require that legally, like the U.S., and uh, I think some European countries. So now that may change in the future, who knows? But uh, as of right now, it should not affect you in that way. So yeah, folks, that's basically it. Just some updates for the Autel Evo 2 series. Uh, some nice updates, some nice new features. That's one thing Autel is good at doing is releasing updates. We've actually had quite a few enhancements to the drone since it was first released. Not only just fixing problems, but they've added quite a few new intelligent flight modes and a lot of new features. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.